this no, episode? This no, this episode. episode. You're drunk. Oh. Jessica, you're drunk. Jessica. <laughs> Continue. So- What's up, guys? guys? Welcome to Watch Me Wasted. I am still a displaced princess. And I guess I'm still a knight. And we're watching Gallivant again, the second one, which is called Joust Friends. And to go with it, a night out. Because we're having a little night out. Anyway, 3 p.m. Having a night out at 3 p.m. You're putting this in the video, but we're currently watching the edit, and you just got the name of the video, which is Joust Friends. Joust Friends. You just, like, just friends. We filmed this so long ago. It was like two weeks ago. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to this. To a shaker full of ice, add one ounce of bourbon. self-create their countries. Interesting. See, I couldn't be royalty because I like to feed and dress myself. <laughs> just quirky things. <laughs> just, just peasant things. <laughs> I'm sitting next to the drink that's she about to fall. She has big leg with four seats. Yes, but like, is the cup stable? Yeah. Is, you're 
your leg is a flat up stable because I am not. <laughs> Emotionally. This makes me too nervous. <laughs> he got to stop. Yeah, right. Just for you. Like a sippy cup. Yeah, yes. So rude. But also, yeah. <laughs> I love his little flippy uppy mustache. Honestly, like the only reason men should have mustaches is to do the flippy uppy thing. Okay, here's the thing. I like facial hair. I like facial hair. I don't like solo mustaches without beard that looks like a porn stash. Or like the hipster stash where it's like uh, just yeah. straight up like little curly mustache mm -hmm. sans other facial hair. I love other facial hair accompanying the mustache. Then you took yeah. what? Are you gonna finish your <laughs> Sorry, we're waiting for John Ham. Yeah, we needed John Ham, aka John Stamos, to make a picture. That's my favorite thing is that they got Stamos to be in there. Why did I not realize this was John Stamos the first time I watched because it? Because you thought it was actually John Ham. I knew it wasn't John Ham. I was John like, Hamm. haha, discount John Ham. John Ham is an actor. His picture is here <laughs> on the screen. And that's a joke. <laughs> That's a whole joke. Oh, it's John Hamm. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> Does John Stamos look like John Hamm? Not at all. <laughs> I think they wanted John Hamm in this episode to be named John Hamm, and then John Hamm said, "I can't do it," so they just so they got, got the Stamos. Name. That's John. <laughs> I mean, Stamos is solid. He is. What's that guy's name? Oh my God. Stamos? No, the other one I'm thinking of. He played the robot from Iron Man. Robert Downey no, Jr. It, no, the Jarvis. Robot. He played Jarvis. Who was the voice actor for Jarvis? Once again, let's go to the invisible phone. Paul yeah. Bettany. I'm so angry about it. I can't believe I forgot Paul Bettany's name. Paul Bettany, I'm sorry. For a second, I was like, I don't know if I want to talk about this, but I've decided I want to talk about this. Um, Chester? What do we think? It depends on how they use it. <laughs> Look at this sculpted into a fun shape. <laughs> Well, no, because they're they some shape people... into a heart. <laughs> <laughs> like the most unfair thing about feminist, like not feminism, the unfair thing about men <sighs> and their privilege is that they just can be chest out like all the time. It's like you can have giant titties bigger than mine, and it's socially acceptable for it to be shown to the world. Free the nipples, right? And the chest hair. Yeah. I. Don't want to get into like body shaming in general for anyone's bodies. That's fair. As we said last episode, all bodies are beautiful, and I think that bodies should be allowed to be out. However, I would like it if there wasn't hypersexualization of women identifying nipples. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Everyone should be able to have they titties out if they wish. Have you seen those swimsuits for yes, women? Yes, I sure have. That are just man bodies mm -hmm. because. I love them, but I kind of want one. I lost yeah. my stick in the cup. Yeah. Do you want my stick? Yes. Here. Hold on, I broke it I a little bit. I have to poke Jessica. <gasps> now you are unarmed. Beep. Dang. <laughs> Beep. Ah! So bad. what's happening for the listeners at home is that Emily and Caitlin have engaged in a vicious duel. Oh, so no. head over to YouTube to check that out as the slowest joust in history occurs on the screen. <laughs> ah! Spoilers, I'm gonna go on a rant. Alright, cool. Emma Watson! <laughs> in Beauty and the Beast! Oh, don't even get me started the oppressiveness mm -hmm. of the corset. First of all, tight lacing was historically not really a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, these waist measurements that we have in extant garments being like 24 inches, 25 inches, those chicken. are from like young women and Aristotle. Aristotic, aristocratic young women. Aristotle. Who, like bodies today, there are bodies that do have natural 24 inch waists. Yeah. Tight lacing was not a thing. The corsets were for structure, mm -hmm. for the gowns, for support. Also, of they your have boobies. bras. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They're bras. Literally, that's what a corset is. It's not about tight also, lacing. Also, because, like, if you look at early versions of bras, like, Brazier, they like, have exactly. the waist part. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that's, that's what held up the titties. <laughs> the precursor to the modern bra is a corset. Mm -hmm. That's what it for, was for. It wasn't about the patriarchy, like oppressing women and putting in these horrible, like malforming body systems or anything like that. That wasn't it. Uh, it was just and, like, underwear. Exactly. And mm -hmm. we were just used to it. And that was their body. So like people wearing a corset now, yeah, it's gonna be potentially uncomfortable the first time you put on a corset because you're not used to it. Yeah, but so, the first time I put on a corset, 
like a well-made corset. Yeah. It felt amazing. Yeah, because my posture was so instantly good. got better. It was really comfortable to both sit and stand. Exactly. You just and have to I adjust. could breathe. You just have to adjust slightly how you do things. Because you are used to wearing modern clothes that don't do that. So that's the point I'm making with this armor too, is they learned how to fight and walk in that armor. So it wouldn't have been that heavy. Anyway, <laughs> people who don't know anything about historical garments or anything like that, making decisions and publicly going to the media to be like, it was oppressive and I'm a feminist, so I'm not doing it. Emma Watson, I'm so mad at you about that. You could open a book, do a Google search and it would have been fine. Don't know that part, don't know the words. Here we are, baby! <laughs> and Caitlin's also included. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's talk about it. So, Gallivant Season 1, Episode 2, Joust Friends. Thoughts? It's great. It's great. I'm <laughs> John Hamm. I did not know John Hamm was a person, so Stamos nailed it. Emily did <laughs> learn that John Hamm was a person. I thought he just was called that because it's funny that someone's name would be Ham because he was like hamming it up in the episode. No. I'm sorry. Because he was doing the Yo Mama jokes. He was like being real hammy. You need to apologize to John Hamm right now. I'm, I'm so sorry, John Hamm, that I didn't know you were real. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're growing on me just like mold. So, I do like that song because it's a good parallel between the two relationships where like it's like, ooh, something could be happening in this one with Galavant and the princess and ooh, is the queen and the king finally getting to it? Spoiler, she fucking hates him. But yeah, whatever. Yeah. Fun fact. Yes. In a fun fact pouch. When I finally get a boyfriend, I'm gonna say that to him. <laughs> a scandal. <laughs> Boyfriend should be so lucky <laughs> to hear that quoted at him. I mean, when he finally shows up and is a person. Fun fact, I've never had a boyfriend. Which is astounding because you are beautiful, but also beautiful on the inside, which is why we spent so much time around you. That's my insights. I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> for Watch Me Wasted this week. Make sure to make your a night out and let us know what should we watch next week. Make sure to take a picture of said night out and tag us on Twitter, Instagram, follow us while you're there, follow us on Facebook, and share this to all your friends. Make sure they subscribe because guys, guess what? We're doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. Oh my God. I'm being <laughs> mocked <laughs> behind my back. Absolutely not. Make sure you smash all of these buttons because they're cute or whatever. Ring the bell to make sure you get a notification every single time we upload. And most importantly, keep it wasted. Bye! Bye. So it's three, two, one. Sorry, Mary. <laughs>